This module speaks about confidence interval estimate for the population variance. With a point estimator available, it is logical to inquire about the interval estimate for the population variance. Whether we are successful in constructing a confidence interval for the population variance, sigma square, will depend on our ability to find an appropriate sampling distribution. Confidence interval of sigma square are usually based on the sampling distribution of n minus 1 s square over sigma square, where n is a sample size, s square is the sample variance, and sigma square is the population variance. If samples of size n are drawn from the normally distributed population, the quantity n minus 1 s square or sigma square has a distribution known as chi square with its degrees of freedom n minus 1. It is important to mention here is that this expression follows the chi square and is useful to find the confidence interval only if the population is normally distributed. Let's look at the behavior of the, of the chi square distribution. Here in the figure, we can see the chi square distribution for several values of degrees of freedom, which are k which is equals to n minus 1. And you can observe the pattern that with smaller degrees of freedom, the distribution is highly positively skewed. But as the sample size grows big, the degrees of freedom grows big as well. And the skewness is reducing. But overall, chi-square distribution is a positively skewed distribution. On the other side, we have table F, that is a percentiles for the chi-square distribution, which shows us the area under the curve for specific values for the degrees of freedom and the area that we are interested in. We'll use this table to calculate the reliability factor that will help us in the measurement for the confidence interval. The confidence interval estimate for the population variance can be obtained as n minus 1 s square or sigma square and taking the lower limit to be chi square alpha by 2 and upper chi square 1 minus alpha by 2. Solving it for sigma square, that is the variance, the expression can be given in equation 6.9.1 which is the 100 into 1 minus alpha percent confidence interval for sigma square. And if we were to take the square root of each term in this given expression, we have the following 100 into 1 minus alpha percent confidence interval for sigma, that is the standard deviation. So the population standard deviation, the confidence interval can be obtained as the square root of n minus 1 s square divided by the chi square, that is a reliability factor, as the lower confidence limit and n minus 1 s square divided by chi square alpha by 2 that's the upper confidence limit the two values of chi square are selected in such a way that alpha is divided equally between the two tails of the distribution let's take an example in a study of the effectiveness of a gluten free diet in in first degree relatives of patients with type 1 diabetes Hummel et al placed seven subjects on a gluten-free diet for 12 months. Prior to the diet, they took baseline measurements of several antibodies and autoantibodies, one of which was the diabetes-related insul insulin autoantibody, IAA. The, the insulin autoantibody levels were measured by radio binding assay. The seven subjects had insulin autoantibody units, which are given below. We wish to estimate from the data in the sample the variance of the insulin autoantibody units in the population from which the sample was drawn, and we want to construct a 95% confidence interval for this estimate. Using the given data, the sample yielded the sample variance 
S squared to be 39.763. And the degrees of freedom, that is n minus 1, which is 7 minus 1 to be 6. And the approximate value of chi square, which can be taken from the table F, and that was shared earlier. The first value chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 is 14.449. And chi square alpha by 2 is 1.237. Hence, our 95% confidence interval for sigma square will be obtained by putting all these given values into the expression stated earlier. The confidence interval for sigma square, that is the population variance, is 16.512 as a lower confidence limit and 192.868 as an upper confidence limit. Whereas the 95% confidence interval for the standard deviation, population standard deviation, is 4.063 lower confidence limit and 13.888 as the upper confidence limit. We can interpret this confidence interval as we are 95% confident that the parameters being estimated are within the specified limit because we know that in the long run in repeated sampling 95% of the interval constructed as illustrated would include the respective parameter. Results will be misleading if the normality assumption is not met. Moreover, unlike confidence interval in the mean, this estimator is not in the center of the confidence interval because the chi-square distribution is a positively skewed distribution. In the consequence, this does not give the shortest possible confidence interval.